Hello. If you're watching this video, that means you've finished your Unit 7 and are ready to go on to Unit 8. Alright, so let's jump right into it. Unit 8 is all about the exploration and colonization of the Americas. You should, of course, start with the first task, which is telling this big idea, and having you think about the topic, like why would the Europeans and then later the Africans come to this area, and what effect does disease and destruction on the native population had? How we're going to learn those things? Well, we would have performed the play about European explorers. However, you still have access to read the play. Um, it is down here in Teacher Station. If you'd like to read the play, we just don't have time this year to actually implement it and perform. It was a lot of fun, and the play is quite cute. So if you'd like to read the play, it's all right in here. It does help explain some of our key explorers to this area. Okay, back to the unit topic again. We also have a vocabulary words and definitions. I'm going to actually, instead of having you write them down if you don't want to, we are going to do the vocabulary where you go into Quizlet and you take your test until you get mastery. Do not forget that you can practice the unit as often as you want and you should not be submitting the screenshot until you have the grade you want me to put in the gradebook. In other words, practice, practice, practice. To help understand some of these vocabulary words, you might say, I'm going to skip this for a second. I would like to actually go and learn about them. Well, that's easy. You have some presenters. There's a template. I really would love to have had you guys do this. You guys were to actually create a PowerPoint, adding the new information, and then from there, we went over it. However, due to the limitation on time, we're not going to have to worry about this as much. If you wanted to, with a partner or partners, you guys can. This is just a basic template and, you know, lays, out, lays it out. You would have replaced the information here with the person's name and their lifespans. But again, this is not a required activity because you're going to still just take notes because your quiz for this unit is over open notes. Continuing on. To get some of the information, there are three different sets of PowerPoints here. I have the paper up front in blue to take notes on or just get lined paper. Here I introduce vocabulary terms and later we talk about the different explorers that come. This one and number three is talking about the same thing. Probably I will eliminate number three as it is the same information as the first one. Those of you who have started in here, you understand what I'm talking about. And it goes through that. All right. So number two here, however, remember how I liked you guys to be able to actually view different presentations. Number two is another teacher's presentation. And, of course, that person gives us a nice background to the information and gives us our objectives. By the way, the Spanish came in search of, well, they all want to expand, but they also want fast money. And money is in resources. They talk about the vocabulary words and what the Renaissance is and so forth. So this presentation is very nice as it shows the information but in a different format. Okay, then you had to find four other explorers of Anglo-America. We've talked about them already. However, I wanted to bring them back up in this unit because now we're trying to take a look at, well, we did the history of what the what type of people came and settled? Now we're going to do the comparing the English colonization or the Anglo 
America from Latin America. And finally, you're going to take a look at note taken on colonization. The reasons behind colonization were two different reasons, basically. One, you had the Latin America, how they came and what they did, things like that. We have resources in here, your big ideas. So definitely check out these links. We also then had the Anglican opinion of Latin colonization and some of those facts that helped explain it. Of course, we are not going to have time for this, so keep track of your own notes. And if we want to, we can actually create a document for those people that are working ahead, can have a place to do, actually discuss things. But in a way, I already do because you have the discussion board for Anglo America and the one about Latin America. All right, those are our two folders down here. The last bit of information right now that you can see is a note taking document where you're going to want the textbook, the yellow and green spined one in the back of the book room. And by going through the book, it has spaces here for you to fill in your information. I, To be honest, because it is a little bit more than just clicking on and writing, you're going to probably want to um, maybe print this out or figure out a way of putting in more facts over here just to keep track of your notes. Again, you don't have to have it typed up. However, if you want to, you could always type it up and add, insert comments into it, what the answer you think it is. All right, so this chapter 11 out of your textbook and chapter 10 in the textbook talks about the colonization, exploration, colonization, and what happened when the Spanish Empire, Empire came to stay. That should get us up and ready for one and two quizzes. Again, you are going to work at your pace, and when we have a chance, I will check in on you guys. I want you guys to create a small community, even though you're in each different class periods. Do not slow your learning process down based on other students. Unit 8 is not very big, but it does have a lot of information. Unit 9 talks about what happens after the colonization and how they became independent, which is really when the history of Latin America becomes quite interesting. All right, I think with that, I have talked about the different things here. Let me know when you are ready to take the quiz, and I will allow it to be open note quiz. So you probably will want a printed version as it will be harder to go back and forth during the quiz with a, two tabs. When you're ready, I will open it up and you will take your quiz. Thank you for working ahead and let's keep learning.